Alright, off to Urban Adjudicator. Now this was a spin-off of my Adjudicator series just because I had no more budget to do real <laughs> Adjudicator stuff and plus after like the near miss with the last one with my blade, I uh, basically just like stopped all that sword play in general and all the dangerous stuff. So then we come up with this bitch better have my money, that's why it yeah, basically made it all happen. <laughs> that track once I slapped that on, you know, I didn't care about copyright or nothing, but it still got loads of views. Now this is our first time using director mode in GTA 5. And I gotta say, uh, you know, like, uh, Mr. Lopez and all that, he really kind of pulled it out of that here. Because, uh, I don't know, I got to basically be me with the voiceover, but it wasn't really me, but then, like, a big budget sort of setup, and more on that Neo Noir, where it's really me. It's not like Dante from uh, Devil May Cry. I don't know if you guys know the video game series, but that's the mod that we had here in GTA 5. Now, this is the old GTA 5 director mode, still just, like, pretty new. Graphics not as amazing, all the bloom and all that stuff, the CG, not quite there as it is nowadays. Now they have like 4K upscaling, they have everything, it's just mind blowing. The reflections, GI, you know, global illumination, ray tracing, I mean it works. Like serious CG going on there. Um, I had to have a car chase here, um, basically it's totally turned out different in my new one. But uh, here you go with, you know, they're just winging it really, like with these shots. We're just like getting anything we could. And again, once we had all this, it was super hard to edit down. Now that's always the deal that Mr. Lopez does the CG for me and then I do like the final editing and stuff. But it is all really like, you know, our concept together, you know, I mean basically just winging it as we did. Um, just starting off with like a concept idea and then like going to try and execute and then not have it as well playing like storyboard and shot list and everything but just more you know bit by bit you know <laughs> but this i mean the voiceover was great i got my brother involved got he involved everybody loved it you know it's like super funny um something's wrong with his eyes though i don't know if you noticed that that's a bit fucked up um all this stuff you see some glitching with the sky that kind of happened a bit it does even happen on neon noir a couple times so i had to cut out um, but yeah, don't mind the flashes, hope you're not eclectic, so we uh, don't have any lawsuits on our hands. Um, but yeah, this we just got carried away with it. <laughs> shooting stuff, blowing stuff, but doing the slow mo's. This was like the whole Michael Bay thing, but obviously extended slow mo went a bit over the top, you know, there's the crazy eyes again. Um, but all these angles we chose, so basically, like you, you basically record it while you're playing. And then you go back and you edit it, you can edit in the program, or the best is just render it out, take it to root in the program, and then edit it properly, put it on music, sound effects. Some of the sound effects and stuff on there are pretty good, like the voiceovers and all that are hilarious, but you may want to add your own, or just completely like redesign the whole thing. Here it goes a bit wonky, and then it's about to crash, yeah, because we've been shot, so that's usually, we don't have all the cops switched off here, which we do now, and that, so it makes it easier, but then we all add the cops, because we want the cops, we want the bullshit. Um, now the ending was just like whack, alright, I didn't really know how to end it, so I just tried to tie it back into the bitch, but it had my money thing, you know, with like, a, there's a snitch bitch, um, cause this is after I did a big film where I nearly got fired cause someone snitched on me, so her nickname was snitch bitch, um, that doubt she'll ever see this, so I'll probably get no lawsuits, <laughs> you never know. I think this voice, uh, for the female was my bro, and I did an extended cut, but in this version I just chopped it down, and this is the one we went with in the end, you know, this was like the final edit. Um, and then oh, the ending, ending, okay, this really didn't make sense. This was just like, okay, I just uh, had to kill like the character off and just like, kind of finish, do some weird video game stuff, you know, like some of these videos do. Um, so I just had me like on the voiceover, I just rewrote it like, yeah, walk into the water and I like, kill myself in suicide. Now that's not how I roll nowadays, now there's no more like, done, I'm the hero now, right? Okay, that's it.